great afternoon. Well, I just saw, you know, and heard um, when we were having our Christmas show that um, the Texas governor once again sent a busload of migrants up to Kamala Harris's house uh, and, and just dumped them out there. So what does this remind me of? Does this sound something familiar? Could he play this part? Yes. Have I the pleasure of addressing Mr. Scrooge or Mr. Marley? Mr. Marley's been dead these seven years. Oh. Dead as a doornail. Died seven years ago. It's very night. Oh. We took the liberty of calling on you at your chambers, Mr. Scrooge, thinking that you would have finished business for the day, but we failed to make anyone hear. That's not surprising. I'm the only person who lives there. Why? Consequently, we have called here. At this festive season of the year, Mr. Scrooge, it seems more than usually desirable to make some slight provision for the poor and destitute who suffer terribly at this present time. Many thousands are in want of common necessaries. Hundreds of thousands are in want of common comforts, sir. Are there no prisons? Yes, plenty of prisons. The union workhouses are still in operation, eh? They are still. I wish I could say they were not. Warlaw and the treadmill are in full vigor then, eh? Both very busy, sir. Uh, very very sir. I thought from what you said that something had occurred to interfere with them in their useful course. Very very sir. Very very early. Under the impression that they scarcely furnish Christmas cheer of mind and body for the multitude, some few of us are endeavoring to raise a fund to buy the poor of London meat and drink and means of warmth. We choose this time because this is the time of all others when want is keenly felt and abundance rejoices. Now. What shall I put you down for? Nothing. Nothing? Oh, oh, I see. You wish to be anonymous. I wish to be left alone, sir. Since you ask me what is my wish, that is my answer. I don't make many myself at Christmas. I can't afford to make a lot of idle people many. I hope to support the institutions we've just mentioned. They cost enough. People are badly off, they'd better go there. Many can't go there. Many would rather die. Well, if they'd rather die, they'd better do it. And decrease the surplus population. Besides, excuse me, sir, I don't know that. But you should know it. It's not my business, sir. A man's got enough to do in this world to mind his own business. Without interfering with a lot of other people's, mine occupies me constantly. Good evening, sir. Well, um... Neither would Abbott open the purse to give to the poor. Ah, if they're going to die, let them do it quick and get rid of the surplus population. Yeah, I'm doing my thing. You get out of my face. No, I don't want to give you anything. Uh, you, you know, uh, Abbott's got, you know, nothing on Ebenezer Scrooge, or should I say Ebenezer's got nothing on Greg Abbott, okay? So, what I got with that when I did the reading this evening was this is going to backfire on him. Because this is the one time of year when they're supposed to be honoring Christ. And what Greg Abbott has done is the least Christian thing I have ever seen. And I say it's going to backfire on him. And those that stepped up to the plate to aid these people will be looked at with generosity rather than Greg Abbott, the Ebenezer Scrooge of Texas.